Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm going to show you how I do a Texas style turkey breast. Now in Texas, turkey is on the menu at every barbecue joint I've ever been to. And it's not like your traditional Thanksgiving turkey. It's seasoned with that same rub that they put on those briskets and the ribs. Salt and pepper heavy, a little bit of herbs to round it out. It goes in some good post oak smoke and then they wrap it up with some butter to finish it off. You know it's going to be good and this is how I do Texas style turkey. Let's get to cooking. So today I've got some boneless skin on turkey breasts. They're about four and five pounds each. Now the hardest thing about this recipe is sourcing those turkey breasts. I've never been able to find them that big at my grocery store. So I called up my buddy Kevin down at the butcher shop and he sourced some for me. So they came from a local farm, no brine, no pre-injection, none of that stuff. They're just fresh turkey breasts. First thing we're gonna do is take the skin off of these turkey breasts because I'm not trying to render the skin down in this cook. In Texas, they cook it with the skin off and they take their seasonings and build this bark over the outside. That's where all your flavor is. So it's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna take a knife, trim the skin off. Now you can also trim off any excess fat or any sinew that's on there. You're just really wanting to clean them up and you have a ton of great meat left. You're not wasting much when you buy turkey breasts like this. Now to season these turkey breasts, I'm going with that Texas style, salt and black pepper. It's two parts coarse black pepper to one part salt. I threw in a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion and some herbs to make it my own version of a Texas brisket seasoning. So first we're gonna put some seasoning on the bottom side of these breasts. And I really want a good dose of it because I want it to make that bark as it cooks. You just wanna hit all of it up and then we're gonna flip each one over. We're gonna do the top sides and the edges. And what I like about this salt and pepper is you can really see the coarseness of the pepper, the flakes of salt mixed in with it, a little bit of the herbs. All of this seasoning is gonna brown up. That's what's gonna make these turkey breasts beautiful. So that looks good on the seasoning. Now let me show you what we're gonna cook these on today. Now I've got my offset stick burner, Miss Jolene, out today. We're gonna fill the fire basket up with some Royal Oak lump charcoal, use a couple tumbleweeds to get the fire going. In about 20 minutes, we'll have a hot bed of coals. That's when we wanna start adding the wood. Now I've got a split of post oak that I'm putting on here. It's gonna give us some Texas style smoke. It's also give us some good BTUs to hold this pit at 275 today. Now as the temps come up, we wanna adjust the vents on the firebox door and then on the smokestack, it's about a quarter open. That's gonna let air flow and that's gonna hold us right at 275. You can cook this turkey breast on any kind of pit. You just wanna keep it at that same temperature. All right, Miss Jolene's running right where I want her, so we're ready to get these turkey breasts on the pit. All we're gonna do is just kind of set them right in the middle, and I'm cooking down here on the end. I'm just gonna kind of shape it up as I put them in the way I want them to cook. Because these turkey breasts are gonna cook exactly how we set them on here. Just bunch them up a little bit, because they do kind of thin out on the end a little. Now we gotta do is get the lid closed. I'm gonna give Miss Jolene the wood. She's gonna stay right where I want her to. It's gonna be 275, about every 45 minutes, I need to go back, put a piece of that post oak on there, let that smoke roll all over those turkey breasts. It's been about 45 minutes. We're gonna look at our fire. The pit's still setting on 275. You can see our logs burnt down. We still got a good bed of coals. The charcoal's done its job. Now I'm just gonna keep adding another stick. That'll be perfect. And we'll check it again in about another 45 minutes. Okay, it's been about two hours, and this is the point where our turkey breasts should have a beautiful color. You can see they've kind of turned like gold in color. You can still see the seasoning on the outside. It's all stuck to it and set in it. So let's wrap these turkey breasts. I mean, look at the beautiful color on that side. We've got some color going on the bottom side as well. You can still see the seasonings. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get some butter down. Got half a stick, I've just sliced it in half. I'm gonna lay that turkey breast right on it. Put another half a stick on top. Then we're gonna wrap it up. Double layer of foil. Just gonna make sure everything stays inside. Turn it that way, wrap that foil over. And I'm using the heavy duty foil on this so it won't tear. And we're gonna put it right back on the pit, skin side down. It's going right back on the pit, down, and I'm gonna put a Thermoworks dot in it. This one right here, you just wanna go in the thick part. We're looking for about 162. We know it's gonna carry over. We wanted 165 finished temp. But when we got this probe in it, we're sitting on about 141 right now. So we know we've probably got about an hour left to get it up there. When it starts to get to 160, I'm gonna let it go a couple more degrees and we'll get them off. We gotta rest them. And the best part, I get to try it. I can't wait. All right, you can hear our dot going off. These turkey breasts have hit temp. They're sitting at 162, but we're not ready to cut them up. What I'm gonna do at this point, 
silence my dot up here. And we're gonna take these off and just let them rest in an aluminum pan sitting out. I want them to drop several degrees before I cut into them because I want them to be juicy. Last one, we're just gonna stack it on top. Get the smoker closed. Miss Jolene did her job. We're ready to go back to the cutting board and let these guys hang out. Then we're gonna slice one up and I'm gonna try it. All right, so I let the turkey breast hang out for about 20 minutes here on the cutting board, just sitting at room temperature. Now we're gonna take them out of the foil, see how they turned out. It's as good as it smells. I know it's gonna taste good. I'm gonna get them all out. We gotta look at all of them. And this is coming out of the butter. We still got our pepper, our salt, that bark we created on the outside. Don't throw this buttery turkey drippings away because you can use that to serve these back over to keep this turkey nice and moist. I'm just gonna set it to the side. I'm also gonna unwrap these. Ooh, you can still see some steam coming off of it. I mean, this is gonna be some good eating right here. Man, now we should just call this butter turkey because it's gonna be rich tasty and juicy, I guarantee. And I'm gonna cut one of these dudes up, but it's time to try some turkey. Just got a roast carving knife. You can use your same brisket knife. Cut it as thick or as thin as you want. Now on the thinner side of it, we'll kind of skew the knife a little bit and get some height out of these turkey pieces. And man, that is looking good. You see, it's got a little smoke color, still juicy, still plenty of moisture inside this turkey. And you can feed a lot of people with one of these. When you get this at a barbecue restaurant, they're just gonna cut it off for you by the pound, how much ever you want. I could probably eat two or three slices. Let me turn it around and see what I'm doing. Now you can start, as you get back into the thicker part, you can just start going straight down with it, almost like you're slicing a brisket. And I'm cutting these about a quarter inch, and I don't know how many I'm up to, but I'm guessing I've got 16 to 18 slices out of this one breast. So that's a lot of sliced turkey but look how beautiful that is. Let me just kind of turn these pieces where you can see on camera, all this nice turkey with the bark on it, that salt and pepper. I mean, it just looks fantastic. So I'm gonna get me one of these pieces right out of the middle. Still juicy, still a lot of moisture in it. And let's try it. This is the moment, oh, don't get off that board. We want you right up there. And letting it rest, you don't lose all that moisture out of it. It holds it in the meat. That reminds me of Lockhart, Texas right there. It's so good. You get that post oak flavor from that offset smoker. The salt and pepper just makes a great seasoning on the outside and it has flavor through and through, but it's juicy turkey. I mean, that's the way turkey's supposed to taste, especially smoked turkey. One last little bite. I got that bark piece there off the back end. Even the edges are still tender, still juicy. And it was really simple to do. I took that coarse black pepper, mixed it with some kosher salt, a little bit of herbs, maybe garlic, onion if you want. Put it on the outside of these boneless turkey breasts. Pulled that skin off, trimmed them up just a little bit. We got it in some post oak smoke for about two hours till we got them that golden brown color. And then we wrapped them up with a stick of butter and we stuck a thermometer in them and just watched it till it got up to about 160 degrees. You let it rest, it's gonna carry over to about 165 and then slice it when it starts dropping and you're gonna have some juicy, some delicious, just smoked turkey, Texas style. Hey, and it's not traditional, but man, it's so good. Y'all gotta try this one. Thanks for hanging out with us here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And Shell and I are gonna talk about this turkey recipe in more detail on our podcast at the end of the week. We'll see y'all next time. Mmm, son, that is delicious. That is good, that butter. Right? I'm putting that butter in there and we freeze it.